8th, the pastor is saying to us, the word in your heart. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Mark chapter 4, verses 14 to 15. The sower soweth the word, and these are they by the wayside, where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately, and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. Whenever you receive the word of God into your heart, the forces of darkness, knowing the power of the word, come quickly to attempt to steal it from your heart. This is what the Lord Jesus brought to light in the parable of the sower. It explains why some folks hear the word and don't understand it. They find it difficult to comprehend why. Right after receiving a wonderful prophecy, all hell seems to break loose against them. It's because Satan will do everything to steal the word from their hearts. He will throw all his darts and accusations at you in a bid to steal the word from you. He tried this trick even with the Lord Jesus, questioning the word that had been spoken concerning him by asking him to prove himself. Luke chapter 4 verse 3. Of course, the master successfully repelled the enemy because he had the word well grounded in his heart. You have to deliberately guard the word in your heart. Colossians chapter 3 verse 16 says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. That means, let the word settle and take root in your heart. That way, no matter how hard the enemy tries to steal it from your heart, he won't succeed. The most valuable thing in your life that Satan seeks to go after is the word of God in your heart. That's why you must protect the word in your heart. Don't let the word remain on the surface soil of your heart where the enemy can reach it and knock it out of you. Drive it deep into your spirit through meditation and praying in other tongues. Hallelujah. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, I thank you for the glory of your word and the transformation I experience even now as your word takes root in my spirit producing in me fruits of righteousness. Thank you for giving me your word to live by, to use in altering the circumstances of life, to align with your perfect will and destiny for me. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read Luke chapter 8, verses 11 to 15, Hebrews chapter 2, verse 1, and Colossians chapter 3, verse 16. For the one-year Bible reading plan, Please read Hebrews chapter 8 and Jeremiah chapter 52. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 1 to 14, and Ezekiel chapter 39. Rhapsody of reality.